hope you are fine. Today I am going to discuss about compounds. A favorite theme of horror stories is the creation of a monster by a scientist. In the 18th century, Mary Shelley wrote about an imaginary scientist called Dr. Frankenstein, who created a monster from the different parts of dead people. In 1953, Stanley Miller, who was born 1930, mixed together hydrogen, methane and ammonia and put them in a container with water. For a week, he passed electricity through the mixture just like lightning. At the end of the week, he found he had made two of the chemicals most important to life. These are alanine and glycine. Just as we use the 26 letters of the alphabet to make words, scientists do the same with the elements. Yet, these 26 letters, when these letters are combined in different way, thousands of different words can be formed. Just as letters are used to build words, element build compounds. At present, 118 elements have been discovered, though IUPAC lists only 112 officially named elements, 92 occur naturally, while the rest are man-made. These elements can combine to form thousands of different compounds. So, we can define a compound. A compound is a, a compound is a pure substance, pure substance containing two or more elements. Elements that are chemically combined in a fixed ratio, fixed ratio. So, you should keep remember there it is written pure substance containing two or more elements and that are chemically combined with in a fixed ratio ratio will not be changed. For example, we can take water that is H2O, this is a compound, it is made up of two elements. What are this? Hydrogen and oxygen. Only two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom can make a water molecule. The ratio of hydrogen atoms to oxygen atoms in water is always what? 2 is to 1. Changing this ratio will give a different compound. If you change this ratio means if you write like this way H2O2 that time it will not a uh, water molecule. Here see uh, adding on more oxygen atom if we, what I have used here what I have added here it gives a ratio of what 2 is to 2 and the compound is called hydrogen peroxide. It was hydrogen oxide water and it has become hydrogen peroxide. Composition of a compound. A compound may be made up of molecules or another type of particles called ions. Okay. Molecules we have discussed it before. Ions are electrically charged particle and ion carries either positive or negative charge. Here water, water is a compound made up of water molecules. Sodium chloride, sodium chloride is a compound made up of positive sodium ions and negative chlorine ions. Properties of compound, does a compound have the same properties as the elements that form it? This kind of question can be asked. Here the answer is a compound has different properties from the elements that form it. For example, magnesium burns in oxygen to form a compound called magnesium oxide. In this place, magnesium oxide has 
different has properties different from magnesium and oxygen see here magnesium is a silvery solid and oxygen is a colorless gas but these two when made a compound that time it has become white solid magnesium oxide names of compounds this place these things or you can uh, think it as a table now, this thing uh, actually shows a list of some compounds these are the compounds and the elements here these are elements a compound contains this element notice that each compound has a chemical name indicating the elements here just example see sodium chloride here we we have found sodium and chlorine that's why it is the name is sodium chloride same thing carbon dioxide here the elements are carbon dioxide zinc oxide the elements were also zinc and oxygen from this we have found zinc oxide calcium carbonate c calcium carbon and oxygen are here copper sulfate copper sulfur and oxygen are here these elements form copper sulfate same thing is here hydrogen chloride the elements are here hydrogen and chlorine which combined things we have found here hydrogen chloride chemical formula of a compound a compound can be represented by a chemical formula the chemical formula of a compound is written by putting together the chemical symbols of the elements that make up the compound the chemical formula tells us the types of the atoms or elements present in the compound and the ratio of the different atoms present in the compound if we take water as an example here the symbols tell us that hydrogen and oxygen atoms are present in the compound the subscript this two tells us that there are two hydrogen atoms in one water molecule thus the ratio of the hydrogen to oxygen is 2 is to 1. If I discuss some more chemical formula of some compounds with a ratio, then it will be clearer for you. Here, say hydrogen chloride compound chemical formula HCl and the ratio of atom is 1 is to 1. Carbon dioxide, this chemical formula CO2 and its ratio is 1 is to 2 sulfuric acid here the chemical formula h2so4 there are three elements and this ratio is 2 is to 1 is to 4 some chemical formula contain brackets for example the formula of lead nitrate pb no3 and there is written 2 to find out the total number of nitrogen and oxygen atoms within the brackets we multiply the number of the atoms of each element with the subscript with the this subscript and this subscript located outside the brackets words have a fixed spelling changing or removing any one of the letters will give different word to all together similarly compounds have a fixed composition changing any one element in a compound or changing the ratio of the elements will give different compound altogether. Bye for today.